research her and research theology. But how long do you want to research this? history, theology, anything there is to say? Well, up, Peter! Oh, my. <laughs> If that guy give you trouble, Zoda guy. And even Zoda guy. And you, hey. Stand up, my guy. Stand up. Stand up. Yeah, Peter. Yeah, Peter. Oh. What are you doing in my house this Sunday afternoon with your pals? How dare you barge into my house in that manner? Um, Paul, what is it? As you can see, my husband and I just got back from church. Hey, Clara, stay out of this. It has nothing to do with you. No, you would not shut me up in my own house. Whatever made you bad into my husband's house can't be resolved. Like I said, stay out of this. Oh, my God, my God, just come back from church now. What do I do now? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, they ask us what do you do? No, you don't, 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 Mugu, you're not gonna shut up. You want me to amend you? I'm gonna amend you where now, your eyes open. You're asking what you want Peter, did you write any letter to the land's office? Yes, I did. Any problem with that? Why? What for? What did you hope to achieve with that letter? Listen, Paul. You have practically sold every single land our father left for us before he died. That land is about the only land left you haven't sold. Why do you want to sell all these things without even consulting me? It must be out of your senses that I should tell you before I sell my land, is that it? You have benefited from every land you have sold. You have kept everything to yourself. I've been quiet. But you see this particular land, I will not let you then be ready to die because you're digging your own grave. Oh, God. <laughs> Paul the Enigma, that's what they call you, right? You're just blabbing. Me. I am blabbing. I have written to the lands and I have told them that that land is not for sale. Whoever goes ahead to buy it does that at their own peril and I will follow it till the last cut. Peter. Mr. Lecturer, do not dabble into things you do not know. Anything I have mapped out for sale must be sold. <laughs> is that what you think? It is not what I think, it is what I know. You see that land? It must be sold. So you had better go back and withdraw that letter from the lands or face my wrath. Okay then. Whatever it is you want to bring, bring it on. If you fail to listen to me, Peter. Peter, if you fail to listen to my boss, I will do the unthinkable. Now get out of my house before I do something I'll regret. Paul is biting more than he can chew. Imagine coming to my house to threaten me. Ah, my love, this is more than a threat. You know who your brother is. If he says he is going to kill, he is actually going to kill. Ah. What are you implying, babes? That I let Paul sell the only piece of land remaining after he has sold all the acres of land our father left behind? I am saying you should let the land go. Just let him have the piece of land and remain alive for me. Never. Paul cannot do anything to me. Huh. He's my blood, my brother. Yes, he is your twin. But be careful of what he has become. I am begging you, just let him have the land. Never. Even our late father will turn in his grave if I allow this mistake to continue one more time. At the risk of losing your own life? What? Can you just stop this, please? I will not let Paul sell that land. Huh. He has sold every other land. And what does he do with the money? Go to hotels and sleep with prostitutes. My love, I am too scared. I, I don't want to lose you. Nothing is going to happen to me, baby, okay? 
okay? I'm famished. Please get me some food. Please promise me you will withdraw that later. That land is not worth dying for. Please, babe. Can I eat my food in peace? But what is Paul's problem? Why can't that guy be reasonable for once? Why would a graduate be acting like an illiterate? What's his problem? Paul went to school but never allowed education pass through him. That's why he ended up an Agbero, even when he holds a law degree and was called to bar. This is just very disturbing. A law degree holder behaving like an Agbero. Why? They are in every profession, not just a law profession. Even in your medical field, you find people behaving that way. Let's just eat. There's a way I'm wired. Anything I have mapped out for sale, he's sold already. I feel you, boss. Honestly, boss, your brother is right. You have practically sold all your family land without him benefiting from any. I know, I don't understand you. Now your land. Now your family land. Your papa get land. Don't say a woman will sell the land. Now you want. Um, um, if you ask me, I would suggest we should leave that particular piece of land and move around the town and check if we can see other lands. Even if it means for us to resell the one that we have already sold, that the owners are here to develop. And you really, as a matter of fact, there is one land sold to one Mr. Ugochugu that is here to develop anything on the land. We can go and resell the land and uh, go from there. See, Mama, I tell you something. Since why I know you now, today you suggest something will make sense. Mm -hmm. You can be a good idea with that. Okay? Boss, we listen up. All those people will never they do anything for their land. No, sir. All those ones who don't say, you get lands who even don't say like two years ago, they never do anything. No, if you just start to do. I don't understand. Chima, mm -hmm. are you suggesting we should go and resell Ogu Ghost Land? See, let me tell you something. I won't borrow money on the way. You see that, that load, those lands, the main aim is to cash in and cash out. Mm -hmm. Smile to the bank. Mm -hmm. well, no, 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 stop talking like this. You know what? Guys, we're going to resell those lands. Confirm. Yes, and we are starting with Ugochuku's land since he doesn't have money to develop it yet. Confirm. Follow the enigma. Follow the enigma. Correct. Chairman, you please. Boss, I don't support this one. In fact, I'm, I'm not part of all this illegal business. Too. How can we be selling and reselling people's land? Is it like a business now? I can't be trying to open it when you do. You see, you see I'm, I'm always warning you. I would not get conscience. Yeah, shut up. I would not get conscience. Shut up. You won't go to the You just say that. Okay, I'm going to say that. Are you happy? Now you go sign the document. Now you be chairman. We go sign the document. Chima calls him boss, but he is such a bad influence. I will not allow Paul kill himself. I won't allow him kill himself out of foolishness and stupidity. This one, yeah. Today you will be dead. From who go land? From who go land? It's already sold. I hear this again. Chima, Chima, wait. How could you be suggesting to Ogakolu that we should sell off Ogugo's land? 
Where is your conscience? Eh? Nah, this this guy, sir, eh, you, you 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 just want to spoil my mood. Just give give them a general mood. Now nah, go go be thinking, man. I have told you that with that number. Nah, nah. I will no let go get conscience, guy. Any day you be a boss, you need to be very very heartless, ruthless. Now what do you get, man? What are you saying? Aburo has no conscience. Is Aburo not the same human being? God created us as a human being. Say, man, where is your conscience? How will you be suggesting we sell off a fellow man? The man paid us money and you want us to sell off his land? Okay. Say, man, where is your uh, conscience? You don't do. You don't, Spider, do. Even you. you don't do. I don't get my conscience. Uh, uh, no worry. I don't get a man. Mm. I've been forgetting, but uh, I don't get a man. Two things go so. No, fine, buyer. Yeah. You said your good rules, like. Yes. Make we, him come up. We, yes, we know we'll give him anything. Mm -hmm. So, we we'll go find buyer. No help us find no buyer. We we'll go find buyer. We we'll go sell the land. Just come up, buddy. Come up, buddy. We know we'll give you anything. We know we'll give you anything. Before we come, we'll go. We'll give you Just come up, buddy. We know we'll give you anything. We're conscious. Wait, Chima. Chima. The truth be told, eh? Why are you standing here staring at me? Yeah, if you have anything to say, just say it. Paul, you can't turn against your brother. You cannot. There are brothers who are worse than enemies. And there are strangers who are brothers. Professor Peter has made himself my enemy. And I will offer him. How you cannot be in enmity with your blood brother, your twin brother? Oh, because... you don't know me. You don't know me. I am Paul the Enigma. I will off him and damn the consequences. Paul, you can't be fighting with your own identical twin brother when you two can come together. <clears throat> Do you know that you two can fight the common enemy no, when you're no, together? No, 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 no. Lecturer Professor Peter is the only enemy I have now. Really? You think so? So you believe Peter is the only enemy you have? Hell no, Peter isn't. You see that Chima and Spider? They are your worst enemies. And I don't want to believe you, you, you are going to accept what is suggested. You cannot be fighting your brother over a piece of land. Nobody does that. Yeah, and no. Listen to me, oh. The fact that you're living with me in this house does not give you the right to keep poking your nose in my family affairs. Watch it. You're just the direct opposite of your brother. Mrs. Gloria, yeah, I'm here. How are you? I'm fine. You're and how is business? Very well, sir. You can see. Can see. I was just driving past your neighborhood and I thought to myself, why don't you come and check up on for my sister Gloria? <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it. I hope all is going well. Yes. And the family? We thank God, sir. Very well, then. I'll be on my way. Thank you so much. You have a nice day. And you too, I appreciate it. All right, bye bye. All right, bye. I have a lecture with master's degree students tomorrow, so I'm back home to put finishing touches on my lecture notes. Uh, 
Um, like I said earlier, I am already back home and it is not in my nature to leave the house when I'm back. Okay then, find a way around it. If you need additional information, do not hesitate to let me know. Alright, thank you. Bye. Hi, babes. Hey, why is your face like this? Is anything the matter? I sent you a voice note. I wanted you to tell me when you'll be on your way back so I could make you dinner. What happened? Oh, God, I'm so sorry. I haven't been on WhatsApp all day. I've been very busy. In fact, I went to check up on pharmacist Gloria to see how she's faring. Not to worry. Come, let's go into the kitchen and cook together. Mm -hmm. What? Which kitchen? <laughs> Please, just go upstairs and freshen up. I'll make you dinner, okay? Wait, 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 wait. Look at you. Most women would want a husband who would go into the kitchen and cook with them. Why are you different? Well, let's say I have um, a very hard-working husband. And I have decided to compliment him by serving him. And I have decided to compliment my wife by serving her. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> love you. Mm -hmm. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. Right. I'll make you dinner. All right. I started already. Let me freshen up yeah? All right, honey. Okay. Mm. Oh, I hope you had a nice day. Yeah, I had to go. Yes. Collect for the full load. Make sure you collect that money. You. Don't let them leave that pack. What are you telling me? You will not come here and tell me any story. You. I I'll blow your teeth. You know, sir. What is good about the afternoon, Timothy? Sir, what did I do again? What did you do again? Have you returned your loading money for today and yesterday? Look at the time you are coming to the office. Sorry, sir. The matter is that I'm here now. You are here now? Yes, sir. Okay. What did you call it? Where is the money? Sir. Sir, the thing we say, um. I'll go put you I know I am wonderful. <laughs> oh, I can see you're busy with um, your lectures plan. Hmm. Getting ready for work tomorrow, I see. Yeah, I'm trying to draft out the outline so it's easier for me. Okay. Mm. All right. While you're at it, I'll be back in the kitchen. Not so fast. Is something wrong? Mm -hmm. Okay, what exactly are you doing? No, Wait, no, no. <laughs> no. Babe, stop. Listen. There's never a moment for this. <laughs> stop, 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 stop! Wait, no, no, no! Wait. I have something with the fire. I need to quickly check it. I... Okay, I'm waiting. <laughs> Continue with your work. I'm telling you your things. All right, babe. Paying all the dues, settling the police and agros on the road. We drivers go home with, uh, with little or nothing. All through yesterday, I was at the mechanic. I spent all the money I made last week buying spare parts and repairing my bus. Same old story, boss. 
I'm tired of everything. I'm just tired. <sighs> Shit. You are saying you are tired. But let me tell you. The reason why I'm drinking with you guys here is simply that I want to drink away my sorrows. Listen, guys. Don't tell me you all are planning to quit driving, thereby limiting my scope of income. Okapo, oh, you don't understand what we drivers go through on a daily basis. Eh? You can survive without the money we pay you. Eh? Listen, guys. New York City in America is where we have the highest number of millionaires. And guess what? All of those millionaires were made on the streets. I want to tell you that there is so much money on the streets. And I'm going to teach you how to grab it. Polo! Polo! Baby. Bless my love. Have you heard from your brother Paul? No. Is this something you both are not telling us? I don't understand. What are you driving at? <laughs> In a clear language, you two don't... You don't act like you're twin. I can't remember any time you guys have met without having a fight. And it just ends up in a serious fight, even fist cut. Baby, it's not my fault. It's Paul you should be talking to. He's a difficult one. I don't understand what that means. Babes, please. I don't understand what you mean. I hold nothing against him. He's the one who doesn't just want my association. Okay. Can you at least try one more time to, to reconcile with him? Babes. He's your brother. Babes, why do you always raise his issue each time you serve a very delicious meal? Can you allow me to concentrate and enjoy this food, please? You see, that my brother told you about, he promised to give me a huge amount of money to start a business, set up a very big business. But up till now, I've not heard from him. See, anybody hoping on all these big men to fulfill their promise is making a hell of a mistake. They make empty promises. The worst part of it is he's not even taking my call. He doesn't take my call. Those rich brothers, they will never help. That is why I don't go to anybody for help. That's the reason. You see, Fred is my immediate younger brother. Can you believe that? When his August set him with a chicken change, I gave him a huge amount of money to add up so that he would set up a business. Oh, really? Now listen, these people, we are talking about the heart, have their heart and Obi Abo. Hey, we're Obi Nazo. Obi Abo is living in the Obi mansion. Obi Abo, after how many? He's living in the big castle in Lagos. He don't even remember his own brother. Yeah. His own senior brother. He can't even talk to me. Family for that matter. Oh, Lord. How oh, the terrible. My love. All I'm saying is that twins should have one thing in common. One mindset. Why is it different with you two? Paul is one hell of a human. How am I supposed to share the same mindset with someone who has a degree in law but has refused to practice for a day? Instead, he opts to become an Agberu. 
collecting levies and tickets from motorists and even aiding them in crime. And you're saying something is not wrong? Nothing is wrong with him. He knows exactly what he's doing. Paul will not call you on phone, no. But you pick your phone and call him, he hears your voice, he drops the call. Exactly why I am saying that there is something wrong somewhere. I am telling you not my phone, eh, meh. This is a guy that is just not consistent. You call him with this number today, tomorrow he changes to another number. As I'm speaking with you now, I don't even know what number he uses. Exactly what you say, my love. This has got to be some sort of problem. All I'm asking is that we look for a solution. Let's, let's just try to solve this. It won't take anything from us. Can we remove our mind from Paul and focus on our family? He doesn't want to associate with us. It's obvious. Why would you want me to reconcile with someone who doesn't want reconciliation? The other day, my wife called my brother on the phone and told my brother we are starving. Can you believe what my brother told Tell my wife. What did he say? Fred told my wife that we should sort ourselves out, that we are lazy. No. no. That we should sort ourselves out. Oh. That we, are, we should be ashamed of ourselves for calling him to give us money to feed oh. my family. Just imagine. Wait, 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 wait. You mean your brother, your blood brother? My junior brother. That's what he told my wife. And ever since then, I trust my wife. He discommunicated completely from my brother. Not even send him again. We don't even pick him up. I trust my wife. He doesn't pick his call anymore. Your wife is a wise woman. Oh my head. Who nego my head? You see, one thing with all these family members, they want only themselves to be rich. And they want to be worshipped. Just imagine. And the worst is that he claimed to be religious. He carried religion for head. That is wickedness. You want to be close to God, but you're not even close to your own family. It's evil. It's wickedness. Listen. Claiming to be spiritual or born again. It's not a yastic to measure who is godly or not. Exactly. In, in most cases, you find out that ordinary people, they live better life than the so-called spiritual people. Yes, man. Those ones, they were fake religious people. Very fake. Internally wicked. Is there no way you can make your brother understand that one is nothing without family? Wait, too. why are you bothered about this guy? Honey, I need to be bothered. I am your wife. I am married to your family. A family that is fractured to the extent that two brothers, I mean, twin brothers cannot even do anything together. Does that make sense to you? The joke is on Paul, not on me. I have tried my best. If he wants us to become family again, my arms are open. Okay, can you at least call him tonight? It's like you're not listening to what I'm saying. I am listening to everything you are saying. I heard everything you said. I know you say you don't have his number. But he called you the last time. I'm certain he hasn't changed that line. Why don't you just call him? He might be willing to talk as family this time. I am not calling him. Except you're doing that on your own. Have I not tried my best? Have I not done everything I could to show him that I love him like a brother each time I keep meeting a brick wall? I know you have tried. But you will keep trying. Don't quit. Please. I've had it up to here. This time around, I am not trying again. If he wants reconciliation, he should be the one to reach out this time. Of two wrongs can't make him right. Please. You see this thing you're discussing now? It is the reason why I cut all ties with family. Let me make this known to you guys today. I have an identical twin brother who lives in this town. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hey. He's a university lecturer and a pharmacist. But we don't rule. Because he's a very nasty creature. Each time I call him on phone, he goes like, Hello, who is this? Can you imagine that? 
That is the way they behave. Very annoying. Hey, Peter is too small to annoy me. In fact, I don't want to have anything to do with him again. Yes. Do you know I studied law? Labor law. I just did not practice and one thing led to another, I found myself here. I don't Wait. believe this. Wait, Polo. Are you truly a lawyer? Or someone told me that you're a lawyer, but I didn't believe it. Not just a lawyer. I was the best in my class. There is something I want all of you to know. There is something spectacular about Ogapolo. His good command of English language is out of this world. Hello. Hey, what is it? I haven't heard from you in a while, so I I thought, why don't I talk to my brother? Check up on me as what? Paul, it's your brother, your twin brother, Peter. I just want to know how you're doing. My twin brother, so what? What can, what can I do for you? Uh-uh. Oga Polo. Uh, that's your brother now. Your brother called you and you couldn't discuss with him. I am Paul the Enigma and I don't take shit from anybody. He hung up? No, he called back. Paul the Enigma. Cutting phone on your brother is not right. Eh? Let us tell ourselves the home truth. And it is good to tell ourselves the truth than telling ourselves sweet lies. That's exactly my point. Ebia, you know, there's a reason I don't want to dabble into this. No one knows what's transpired between you and your brother. I think you're the only one who reasons like a human being here. Apondala. Well, anyway, what do you expect? They're old men, old men with wives. That guy, Peter, that calls himself my twin brother is the biggest fool that walked the surface of this earth. He thinks he's smart. He's a lecturer, the corporate one. But I am the man on the streets. We are like two parallel lines that will never meet. I disagree with you, sir. You guys, you should sort yourself out. It's your brother. At least your brother call you on phone. Try to talk to him and hear him out. Oh! Listen to your brother, know what he have to say. Okay, shut up. Shut up and go back to your wife. You're a common driver. Driving a car that I signed and guaranteed before it was given to you. Oh, because it's not, you signed a guarantee for me. I should not tell you the truth. Eh? To hell with your truth. If you do not shut up your mouth now, I will call the police to arrest you. Hey! Not I... just that, charge you to court and detain you. To arrest me for telling you the truth. For telling you the truth, bro. Charge me for what? Uh -uh. You never reach to that now. Uh-uh. Bro, this thing never reached to that. You will, you will lock him up. This meeting has ended. And I'm not paying for these drinks. Yeah, no, 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 I don't know. Bro, 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 bro. I don't get money. I said, I don't get money to pay for the drink. Yeah, I don't get money for the drink. Bro, come pay for the drink. Then you carry us, come out. We are welcome. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are. Madam, what's your name? Bro, bro, you are going to be in peace. Hey, Key, I'm not saying one day well. Uh, give me some. You know, you know, one day well. You don't want to give me some. Yeah, I'm going to give you some. 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 Madam, don't give me that kind of way. Give me yesterday. That uh, washing and setting, I beg. I beg. That one way, give me that. You don't approach me. You want to give me that? I don't want to. One, 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 I shall work. I don't know what I did. I don't give me. Uh, oh, guy, you don't go. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, know how they say, 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 say,
Karibu kia na. Na rekia we rekia na. Karibu kia you. Bring something for me. Leave this man. Na married man. Karibu kia. Ah. Ndio follow. I know one for Joe. No point. Ndio for take away. No use all this your Sega cup or give me. Ready, talk, ready. Go ahead, sir. Just, just tell me. Mm. 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 I'll finish some. I'll finish some. Why is it a half of a drink now? I don't put the cup now. I'll finish some. I'll finish some. Why do they do that? Finish this thing, my friend. Today, somebody join us, drink or two with them. Make a kiss. Make a kiss. You say, make a drink, but what do you want to do? Guys. You know what I'm saying? We will just stay here, count the money. You know how much we will give for ourselves? You know how much we will give for the enigma? No matter now, if you got this money, go and fix now. You go do justice to it. Don't give us change. Bamba. You know, say, Polo, they're very wicked. Polo, they're very, very heartless. You see that guy? A very greedy woman being. That guy know the only reason say we we get our own personal responsibility the way it get. See, eh? I must keep something for myself. You guys know I have a pregnant wife to take care of. Do you know that sometimes, eh? The way my wife crave for things, eh? Baffles me. Onyinye will tell me that she wants a, a, a pap with liquid milk. I will run around to get the exact thing he wants. She wants. The next thing I will hear, I don't want pap and liquid milk again. What I want is a uh, is a uh, banded yam with a uh, with a leaf soup. The thing is too confusing. Shut up! Oh. Which one be married ma married married uh, 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 pregnant wife again? Where are you there, Mariam? Again, where you just give belly, he comes stay with you. Now you there here and I don't they claim to be married. For where are you there, Mariam? He don't the girl and wife. He don't the girl and wife. He don't the girl. Uh, to God, who made me and you, Chima? The kind of thunder that will fire you is still warming up. I'm telling you the truth. Why is that any time I'm talking about Oinye, your body will be pepper? Abeg, you don't do it, you don't do it. Me will, me will count this money, you know what you do. You don't do it. You don't do it, You don't do it, nah, Abeg. Ah, bring, uh, search yourself. Bring, 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 bring the remaining. Spider, do you know that this boy has no sense? Yes. You don't have anything of sense. What do you do? Which type of sense? Ask Sam. You don't see any Abu person who get sense before. Abu, I don't get sense. Now, to collect money, now I know. Okay, search yourself, I beg. Where you can do this country? Okay, okay, if you want come on, come on, I beg. I don't obtain myself, that's a show. Okay, okay, I can't search yourself. You never give me all money. Yes, yes, Okay, I know. You want to do this? I can't do it. Give you all the money. You don't do it anyhow. Why are they going to come? Come on, come on. Okay, how are you? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Okay, we have to do this. Search me. Search me. Search me. Come on, come on. 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 No, no, you know, no, say it again. Mungu, you are the top profit. I think you have money to come here. Give it to me, hard girl. PM and he's not back yet. What responsible man leaves the house early in the morning and comes back this time? All he does is leave the house in the morning and come back late at night. This rascality is what I cannot take anymore. I can't, my sanity is going off. I can't take this anymore. 
What is this? And when he comes back, he will, he will find a way to lie about it. I can't do this again. I can't take this again. What is this? Eh? Girls are fantastic in this. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You can say that again. Mm -hmm. I told you we are good in what we do. <laughs> I have seen for myself. <laughs> you can call us when there's you need a good quality rundown. I like the way you describe it. Good quality rundown. <laughs> you know, if it were other classless ladies, they would call it sex. Ladies of class do not speak like that. So give me your phone so we save our number. Um, that would not be necessary. But why? Paul the Enigma is really an enigma by all definitions. Mm -hmm. He does not repeat girls. But we are good. And you saw it with your eyes. Yes. So it should be nice if you give me your phone so we save our numbers. <laughs> like I said earlier, no. <laughs> if I need girls like you, I know where to get them. Okay, babes. <laughs> Maybe they go. Ah, go. Ah, boy, should be daybreak now. Day Guinea. Who are you to think I would waste my time spending the whole night with you? I'm done with you. <laughs> that guy's breath is something else. Hush. He has this breath that stink like I can't call through. I was through up. My sister, what we the Ashawa go through in the hands of men is terrible. We sleep with different kinds of men in the streets just for money. Even the one that has dangerous body and mouth odor, skin rashes, evil rashes in the private parts. Even with that one, with that his bad breath, I, I don't understand. Who does he think he is? My sister, you are just an ordinary Ashawi, so you have to deal with this shit. I hate his arrogance, honestly. My sister, you are confusing me. What is eating you up? The poor guy said he doesn't repeat girls, so you should respect his opinion. Wait to be your own self. I never leave him. No, wait to say I never leave him. I beg you. Thank God. Oh, yeah, they won't complain. Eh? Yeah? See, I beg. Let me just go and look for customers since you know agreed to do the book. Huh? I don't know why you are here complaining or. Hold it. Normally, now you're weak. Sign me. I shall walk. I shall walk. Good evening. I'm not fine, Paul. Oh, where are you? Okay. Um, I was stuck in a very heavy traffic. I'm sorry. Oh. Traffic again? Yes. And the funny part is that when I left the traffic, I realized it was nothing serious. Amazing. Amazing. 
Okay. Heavy traffic indeed. Um, your food is in the flats on the oh. line. So. Okay, thank you. I'll just freshen up. Right. Jesus. Hey. Don't fuck up. Oh, she catch me for this one. It's like no end at all. I see no reason you're doing what you're doing to me, Paul. What you see outside, don't I have it? Rather than sleep with me, you spend all your time with those girls outside your home. Why, why, do, you, why do you derive joy making me feel sad, Paul? <gasps> Don't, don't try it. Don't touch me, please. You know, my calababi. You know. Paul, who does it better than me? Nobody. I swear to God, you know, you know nobody does it better than you. I'm sorry, it won't repeat itself again. Exactly what you said two nights ago. This is what you said two nights ago, and you're doing it already. I promise you, this time I mean it from the bottom of my heart. You know now. Now lay you now. Eh? Hey, no, my God. Leave you and go away. Where will I leave you? Don't. <laughs> I'll call me, let me shower. Sorry. Hey, no, baby. <laughs> How do I look? Mm -hmm. You look smashing good. You know you have a way with words, right? For real? Yeah. <laughs> but that's not true. I just stated the obvious. Anyways, you cannot go to class on an empty stomach, oh. so uh, I made you something really nice. Sit down. Honey, this is what I've done all over the years. You know that? Don't tell me you're not having this meal. I woke up quite early to make this, considering that I have an early morning call. You're not rejecting my food. Sit down. Sweetheart, listen. You of all people know how I love to eat your meal. But please, for today, I need to rush off. I don't want my students waiting, okay? But I promise you, as soon as I'm back, I'll do justice to your food. Stop doing that. It's not funny. Trust me. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mm, you have a nice day. And you too, babe. Okay, we'll meet you to the car. All right, babe. Um, mind you, when I'm back, I need to get a light for us to draft that. Uh, I'm sure you won't be home by the time I'm back. Okay. 
definitely from the holes I cut, I have a lot of patience to it. So I might not come back. You don't need to tell me how you how you remember. I think you <laughs> <not. laughs> You and you too. Be a good girl at work. I've always been a good girl. Stop. I trust. <laughs> Sometimes. No, no, that's not good. <laughs> See ya. Mm. All right, take care of you, kid. All right, you bye too, bye. darling. Have a nice day. Call me when you can. Definitely, I will. Send me a message when you can. Rocky. Call me again. That was a joke. <laughs> Have a nice day, darling. What are you doing for? As if you don't know what I am doing. I am refilling my holy water. Baby, why are you calling it that? This, this is a gene from, from Bielsa. An illicit gene that the government has banned already. So why are you killing yourself by drinking it? Huh? You see, you know. Most times I wonder why you have refused to emancipate yourself from mental slavery. This Kai Kai that our forefathers drank and it sustained them all their life. They lived even up to a hundred and above. Is what you are calling illicit. To fear Wage. But why would you say that? Uh, why would you say to fear Kwage? Tell me the reason a young man like you will be consuming Kai Kai. I drink it because I like it. And I like it because it is natural. Not like all this, all these chemicals you people are consuming in the name of foreign drinks. I don't care how you put it or how you're trying to present this. This is ethanol. And there's no way you, you, you'll be gulping down ethanol and be expected to, to act normal. Hey, 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 hey. You are beginning to insult me. Okay? If you do not like my drink and the way I live my life, you're free to take a leave. Really? Yes. Paul, has it gotten to the point you asked me to leave your house? Seriously? Okay. Very well then. No problem. I will not just leave your house, but I will leave your life too. Enough. 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 You know, you know I'm a street guy 100%. I say nasty things all the time. Please. Okay. Then watch me do it. Please, Eno, please don't go. I'm sorry. You're sorry? Really? That is the more reason you should work on your temperament. Because it is destroying you and you don't know. Please, please, please stay. Please, please. Stay now. Oh. I will give you a piece of my mind. I am leaving you, not because I want to, but because I don't want you to have anyone you keep insulting. Leave me. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. See, see, see. I'm sorry. <laughs> see this so cool. They bore you today. Wait, you are trying to tell me you took a promise I made when you were moaning and groaning on that ecstasy. Serious? He must be a learner. Ilema, could be learner. You know how many years I don't do for this business? You see that particular money? That 150,000 naira you promised me made me to do unimaginable things with you. You must give me that money. That money must enter my palm before I step out of this place. If not, <laughs> the whole building will gather for me and you. I will shout. Ah, 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 you, 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 you will shout. Oh, look at this one. You think I'm one of those men that when a woman tells them she will shout, they begin to fidget and, and, and get afraid? If you want to shout, I see, I'm the street, oh! This part, my head. Let me even start the shouting. Get out the 